Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model this machine component using Creo parameter. While modeling this component, we have to do first material addition feature, then we just want to do material removal feature. First, I am going to start with the base plate. The total length they have provided here and thickness is 18. I am going to extrude up to the length of this one. After creating base plate, I will create this cylinder with a diameter of 80 with a length of 44. Then I will create this support plate. Then I will create this feature. After creating all this material addition feature, I will go with the material removal feature of this hole. Then I will create this slot. Then this hole with a diameter of 12. Finally, I will create these two slots. After modeling this component, the component will look like this. Here you can see, this one is the component. Now, we will learn how to model this component step by step. Go to File, Close, Go to New, Part, Solid, Untick this Use Default Template, Provide a Name, Save OK. Our unit template is MM, choose MM Part Solid Absolute, Save OK. I am switching on all the planes. For easy explanation of this model, I am just keeping this software right side and diagram in the left side to view the dimensions easily. First we will start with the base plate. I am taking front plane, sketch, sketch view. To make a geometry symmetric, I am going to put center line, press the roller to confirm. Take the corner rectangle. Make this as a symmetric. Now the total length is 25 plus 22 plus 25. 25 plus 22 plus 25. Then height is 18. Fit screen. Now the sketch is done. We can move these dimensions here. Now say OK. Extrude this sketch up to the length of this. Go to extrude, make it symmetric. The total length is 21 plus 26 plus 26 plus 47. Press enter, the total length is 120. Just say OK. Now we have created this base plate. Then we will create this cylinder. Select this mid plane, sketch, sketch view. Just uh, scroll the roller and move object down. Take the circle. The circle with a diameter of 80. And it is located. The center is located from the bottom is 96. This one is 96. The sketch is done. Say OK. Extrude. Make it symmetric. Here you can see this one is a symmetric one. The thickness is 44. Say OK. Now we have created the cylinder. Then we will create this support plate. Same mid plane. Sketch. Sketch view. Take the reference of this circle edges. Close. Take a rectangle. Put this rectangle. Go to dimension. Here the dimension is 48. And this is made symmetric already. Just say OK. Extrude. Make symmetric. The thickness of this plate is 26. Press the roller to confirm. Now we have created this base support plate also. Then we will go for this feature. For that, in the longest side. Here, take this mid plane. Sketch. Sketch view. Here take the reference of this axis also and this edge also then close it. Take a circle somewhere you just place it here. Here you can see the outer circle radius is 15. Take a dimension. This radius is 15 and the center height. The center circle center is 144 from the bottom plate. Take the dimension from here to this bottom plate. 
is 144 then we just simply close the sketch take a line from here to here similarly from here to here then close it now remove the unwanted edges by using a delete segment this one this one and this one control is it take this zoom it and delete it now the sketch is over say ok extrude make it symmetric the total length of extrusion is 27 plus 4 plus 27 27 plus 27 plus 4 58 just say ok now we have created all the material addition features now we'll go with the material removal feature first i'm going to start with this bigger world with a diameter of 48 select the surface sketch sketch view take the reference of the circle then close it take a circle circle with a diameter of 48 and take a rectangle the rectangle with the thickness is 4 with is symmetric it's already a symmetric now the 4 is divided then remove the unwanted edges by using a delete segments here now the sketch is ok then say ok go to extrude change the direction material removal make to next say ok now we have created this hole and cut simultaneously then we'll go with the this hole to create a hole we should have an axis here to make an axis here go to the sketch because this this hole having axis but this half hole doesn't have axis to create axis go to the sketch edit sketch make one datum point here then it, this datum point will generate axis automatically now we have axis now we just go to the hole place the hole just cancel it select this hole place the hole here select this axis by pressing ctrl and hold now the diameter of the hole is 12 and this is to make it through wall just save okay. now we have created this hole also then we just want to create a, this cut for creating that cut select the surface sketch sketch view this is center to that surface only first start with the rectangle make this rectangle symmetric then put an axis because the distance is 21 from the center line take the center line from the midpoint we just make an axis now go to the dimension from here to here the distance is 21 and the this one is 12 and the height from the 22 this height is 22 for that we just go to the circle first make a circle then remove the unwanted edges go to delete segments remove this and remove this now this height is 22 for that just go to the dimension from here to here press the roller here this distance is 22 this has to be symmetric for that go to symmetric this point and this point make it this axis center now we have made the sketch just say ok go to extrude change the direction to next material remover say ok the same has to be mirrored here also for that select this extrude 6 go to the mirror select this mid plane Press the roller to confirm. Now just go to the standard orientation. Now set it with edges, hide all the plane and axis. Now we have finished. Just rotate the component if any features are missing. Now we have completed full object. Now just go to the full screen. This is our final object. To change the color of our part, go to the view, appearance, take some appearance. Select this one and select it here. 
this part just apply to it to put a new appearance go here white here choose intense surface select this one press the control and select this one this one press the control and select this one just save ok now we have done applying the new appearance in this tutorial we have learned how to model this machine component if you like this video please share to your friends in next tutorial we will come up with a new component thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you